This is an XLR dog for your Stream Deck Plus, making your Stream Deck Plus an XLR mixer. What? You can make an XLR mixer out of your Stream Deck Plus? You can with this thing. Let's unpack it and see how it works. Manual. Dock. Empty box. Oh, look at that. There's plastic on the back. Let's do that very satisfying pool. Oh, that's sticking to my hands. Less satisfying. So as we can see right here is a USB-C. There, USB-C input. And that one is actually pu pushing into your uh, Stream Deck Plus, meaning that that's the connection point. Here at the back, this is where your XLR microphone can go in. Your, um, your headset can go in. Here it will be the USB input towards your computer. Let me grab my Stream Deck Plus and let me push it in. So first thing we do is we pull out the cable. We're gonna need that cable later, but just not right now. Having a bit of a cold, so I keep coughing. Something you need that I forgot to grab is a screwdriver. So grab a screwdriver. Because what we need to do is there's some screws here in the back. One, two, we're gonna need to unscrew those. It looks very daunting, but it's just some screws that are like an electronic on, you know? But I swear we're supposed to. It's in the manual. I swear I read it. I usually don't. I don't read manuals. Oop! Don't lose the screws. And this comes off. This is the whole Stream Deck Plus that you're using. This, just some weight. Just some weight. Just some weight you got on the way there. Then we have this part. We're gonna line that boy up with the USB-C. You're gonna plop that in. So you just line that up with the USB-C. Plop that in. So the USB-C is connected to that front panel you had from your Stream Deck Plus. Then you turn it around and you're gonna screw those screws back in. It's not that bad, um, but it just feels scary to screw screws out. But you're just screwing out a part that's basically useless. It's just something that is holding the Stream Deck up that you're screwing out, basically. Here we go. What we got now is we got that cable and we can just plug it back in, but now we just plug it back in this part. And now it's also connected to Stream Deck. If you plug it in right now, the Stream Deck will go on because it is connected via that USB that you plugged in. So that USB is just connected in the middle now. And you're gonna plug this back into the USB slot that it was in before. Make sure that you put in a USB 2.0 if you want a full result. You can put your headphones in here because then you can get instant feedback. I would recommend that instead of putting it in somewhere else because then you can hear your voice directly back. If you don't want that, you can turn it back off in the software, by the way, but I still recommend putting it in here. And you can put your microphone in here, your XLR microphone, right? And then if you don't use an XLR microphone, you don't need this. Yeah, this is for my XLR microphones. <laughs> I mean, maybe somebody has that question. What if you don't use an XLR microphone? Then you can just use the Stream Deck Plus. You will get the Wavelink software as well. You don't need it. But if you want an XLR microphone, this will give you an audio interface and a mixer. Because you will get the Wavelink software and an audio interface. Because you can plug in your XLR microphone. The Stream Deck Plus the XLR dock together with the Wave DX. I feel it's like the best combination. I'm running the Wave DX on my stream, which is the XLR microphone from Alcato, which is a very, very good microphone. I feel like it has the same quality as some $400 microphones, even though it is just $100. It's like really, really good. And with this system, it's easy to set up. Because the most difficult thing about having an XLR microphone is having an XLR input somewhere in your PC. And right with this thing, 
you already have it very easily set up, right? And it works the same with the Wavelink software. I do have a video with the Wave the X right here, where I talk a bit about the Wavelink software as well. So if you want to de-wave the X with this combination, I definitely recommend that. I leave a link to the products underneath in the description as well. Keep in mind that those are affiliate links, so I will be getting some commission for them, but you won't be paying any extra if you accept the cookies. You will also get a 5% discount if you use code ZZTRUE. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> if you wanna see some more streaming gear, I have a playlist up here. You can also watch this video, YouTube recommends you. Don't forget to subscribe and watch this video. I don't know what I'm gonna put there yet, but you're gonna need to watch it because, you know, I recommend it.